Hi guys, VST here, VST Stech. What a productive weekend, guys. I have released a video on Friday about a epic 50 photos comparison between OnePlus 7 stock camera and the Google camera produced by Ernova. Then yesterday, Saturday, I've released another epic video which is really comparing the Unix Google camera versus the Ernova 7 3 Google camera. Very important read description, but then again, Sunday, I told to myself, yeah, maybe I'm gonna get my rest, just have a coffee, play some games. No, I'm going to do another video, guys, so that we can all benefit. Yeah, of course, because there are some news, guys. Apparently, OnePlus released a new version of the OnePlus launcher, guys. Right now, we're running the version 4.3, which had some news there, and I have discovered already, maybe you can see this here on the left uh, or right-hand side, but this version has something new, so I'm heading straight away and download it, guys. Uh, something very interesting, although I am a better tester, guys, I didn't really receive it from the uh, App Store. I'm not sure why, from the Play Store. So I'm just going to head directly and download it from the APK. All right, I'm going to put the link down below so you have it also. Okay, downloading. So the current version that we're using right now is the OnePlus version 43, which had some interesting things. You can remove the icon label, stuff like that. All right, but this one, guys, this one, guys, here has some more interesting stuff. And I'm gonna show you, so let me just first try to download this. Okay, download APK. We have to watch some advertisement, guys, because I'm using a private DNS and blocking some ads, and I think that's fair, so sometimes I need to just do some waiting time, and pressing the button in three, two, one, okay. APK downloading, guys, it's 26 megabytes. Still, I don't want to tell you what the news is, but okay, maybe you've seen already in the title. Now, it should bring some interesting features into the recent user interface so let's see how this works i'm just pressing open do you want to install an update to your existing building application your existing data won't be lost of course let's press install boom there it is and just by installing it guys you know how it works with the latest launcher right now okay i've installed now when i go like this right and you see here Oh, wow. Now you have here, they brought back close application and they put back here all the icons. Now, I didn't show you this was in the previous launcher, but you probably already know. Long press the up card to access menu options. Okay. Yeah, let's see what happens when I press the long card. Okay, we have here lock. So you can apparently lock the application. We have up info and split screen. Now we can do close up, which is pretty cool, guys. So the only new thing here at this launcher apparently is that they brought here this user interface back where you open the recent UI. You can see all the applications installed, but then you can just boom, close all of those. Now let's see if we press like this here and go to home settings, guys. We should be using a version already. 442. All right, so what is the update lock? Added navigation icons for recent apps to help quickly locate apps. Added a shortcut to access quick search in app drawer. Okay, and general bug fixes. So this is interesting, guys. They say help quickly locate apps. I think it's quite of useful, guys, because let's say, imagine if you open 1000 apps. Okay, let just me try to open some apps, guys. And when you have really a lot of apps open, usually you have to go and just see, okay, what is this app? What is that app? Now, this is very important that they brought the icons back. I think it's very handy, very convenient. Let's see if there's some any new things here, some more new things. If you go to home settings, pretty much the same old screen, hide icon labels, lens layout, drawer, Okay, notification dots, icon pack. All right, guys, I pretty much think this is it. So the only new thing here really is the recent UI and that they brought the icons back. And with that said, guys, I really hope and I really am glad that you're watching my videos. Keep doing this, keep subscribing to my channel. Of course, if you want, keep liking and sharing my videos. Of course, if you want, I wanted to give a message, guys. Stay home if you can. The more you stay home, I think the better right now in this hard time. Stay safe, right, to you and your families. Have some nice weekend ahead of you. And with that said, BSD over and bye.